Hi guitar mates, it's Jeff Sinker back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the app called Moises, which is changing the way I teach and the way I work with my students. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. And Moises is available in three formats. We have the mobile version, desktop and web based. And with Moises, you just simply upload a song from your music library on iTunes to the app. And using the wonders of artificial intelligence. And with the premium version, you can also separate keyboards and strings. And you can use this link right now to download the free version and check it out yourself. And whatever format you're using, any uploads, any what you've been doing, will be automatically available in the other platforms. Now, the developers at Moises are always looking at ways to expand the functionality. And just recently, they have added several features that really do make this app a game changer. Now, you're probably saying there are several software programs already available out there that do this. So what's new? Well, the other apps do have issues that, to me, generally make them unusable. And firstly, if you're playing a track that doesn't have a counting, you've got no idea where you're going to start unless you're playing this. And secondly, how do you play along and keep time with a track that only has guitars in the intro? Just like this one. With Moises, this is now a thing of the past. So first of all, let's show you how to actually get a track into the system. So I've opened up the program and what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the uh, green button at the bottom and that is going to give me the options of how I can upload the tracks. Now the one I'm going to go and select is iTunes. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the Ballad of John Henry. Now it gives you the options that you want to use. Now using guitars, we are going to go for the option vocals, drums, bass, guitar and other. Now this is only available on the premium version. On the free version, you just have vocal, drums, bass and other or vocal and instrument. But with the premium version, you've got all of them options available. So I'm going to select that one and then I'm going to click submit. So now it's telling me the track has been processed. So we'll just click on the track selection there. And the track starts playing straight away. Now we can take out or remove any parts of the track here. So if I wanted to get rid of the, uh, take out the guitar, which is what we're trying to do here. Now with the other, sometimes you might get a faint sound on another guitar, so if you do get that, you can always just take out the button part, just if there's another function, if you're still here with the guitar. Uh, bring the guitar back in, and let's take Joe out. Just removing the vocals. Very, very simple. I could do that to any of the tracks that I want. The bass, take everything out, and just isolate the guitar. Also, you'll see across the top, it's given us the chords as well. So, if you're just happy playing the chords, there's your chord selection to play along with the track. Now, what we're going to do though, we are going to switch to the web-based version because I want to go a little bit more in depth on how we're going to work with these tracks. So first up, we will look at how we will deal with the issue of there being no counting. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use the same track that I used in the intro, which was Roxanne by The Police. Now, if I just start the track playing... As soon as I click start, the track is off and running. It gives you no chance to get hold of the pick, get yourself ready to play. More importantly, you have got no idea when that one count is so you cannot start straight away on that so let's see how moises deals with that 
Now we're going to zoom in on the top right hand corner and we are going to go to the drop down menu which is marked one two three four so we click on the drop down and it displays a button that we can activate which is the counting now with this song Stu Copeland just before the one count he uh, does a little click onto the hi-hat which can be very confusing when you're playing this so what I've done on this one is I've set it to a count of three so what I'll do now I'll start the track off we should hear the counting and I should be able to start on the track correctly <laughs> Not a problem at all. Now we have a county. So now we're going to look at the second issue, which was playing along with a track that starts with guitars. Now for this example, I am going to be using a track that I mentioned earlier, which is Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Now the track is already loaded. If I press play, everything sounds wonderful. What I'm going to do though, I am going to take out the guitars, press play again, yeah, bit of a problem there, <laughs> haven't got a clue what is going on whatsoever, in fact we won't have any indication until we get this, <laughs> then we've got some idea. So we have got a number of issues that we have to deal with. So let's just zoom in and let's start to fix these problems. First thing we're going to do, we do need to get a counting. So again, I go to the drop down menu for counting. Now this song starts on the one count. There is nothing that plays prior to that. So one, two, three, four, we start. So let's check that out. But still silence, we can't hear anything. Now, this is where Moise steps in again. We have this track here that is great at the moment, it's muted, called the Smart Metronome. If I engage it, we get this. Now, we have a metronome clicking through all the way up to the point where we hear the drum and of course it will continue all the way through the track as we can see. There is one other item with this song that Moises also can help us out with. Now if you're familiar with Guns N' Roses you will know that Guns N' Roses always tune down to E flat, A flat, D flat etc. I don't always have the time to tune down the guitar and if you've got a locking trem system you certainly don't want to be doing that backwards and forwards as you're playing the guitar. So we are going to change the pitch of the song and the way we do that we come up to the top menu and we can see this little box here with another drop down menu to it. The moment it's saying is tuned down to D flat we are going to increase that to bring it back to D. So we've raised the pitch of the song by a half tone. So it puts us back into standard tuning. So now we have the counting, we have the metronome, and I've also adjusted the tuning for the song to standard tuning for my guitar. So let's have a go at this. <laughs> So now using Moises, you can create backing tracks for both practice and performance. And this is why I say it's a real game changer for us guitarists. But don't take my word for it. Download the free version now using the link and try it yourself. I know you won't be disappointed with the results. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Until the next time, this is Jeff wishing you well, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Until then, goodbye.